Hivo East Africa Equity Bank and the Association of Fashion Designers of Kenya has, has actually partnered to spur entrepreneurship for women and youth in the fashion industry. Despite its potential to create 300,000 jobs, Kenya's fashion industry remains largely untapped. As a result, designers will be provided with networking platforms to market their designs. UKT Bank has also unveiled a credit product facility dubbed Maridadi Business, which will allow players of the creative community access funds on credit from 5,000 shillings to 100,000 shillings. Well, right now, let's get into an interview regarding Invest in Africa. I'm now joined by a lady known as Wangeshi Muryuki, who is the Chief Operating Officer of Invest Africa. Let's begin with what does Invest Africa do really? Thank you very much. Invest in Africa is a private sector initiative mm -hmm. which brings together leading local companies yeah. across different sectors who work together yeah. to develop local enterprise and to also give support to Kenya. Mm -hmm. So looking at uh, Invest in Africa, I know there is a push to get young people to sort of get uh, incentives and also training of entrepreneurs. Just tell us more about this. Okay. Our flagship product for Invest in Africa is actually an online business community. Mm -hmm. And we say that this is Kenya's first online business portal that links together local enterprises, that's SMEs, be they youth, be they women, regardless of the sector which they operate in, it links them to big companies and multinationals that are also within the portal. Mm -hmm. And the purpose of the linkage is to provide better access to opportunities, uh -huh. to create linkages right. for training, mm -hmm. for upskilling SMEs, mm -hmm. for access to finance, mm -hmm. so that we can make working together easier. That uh -huh. is what Invest in Africa is trying to do. All right. Yeah. So Invest in Africa, how do they run the operations? How are you funded? Uh, how, is the, how big is the budget really? I would not comment about the budget. Mm -hmm. We are a not-for-profit initiative. All right. But when we say we work together, it means that we are partnering with other organizations that support our work. Mm -hmm. In reaching out to develop local enterprise, we are partnering globally with Equity Bank, mm -hmm. with uh, EY, with Tallow Oil, mm -hmm. uh, with Clyde & Co., a company in the UK, yeah. uh, bringing together our efforts to pull resources to enable our work. Mm -hmm. So we are um, working towards developing the first online portal, okay. which I said is a marketplace. Mm -hmm. So. All these companies that are coming together will support the portal by buying in the portal. Uh -huh. And we are going to have SMEs registered on the portal. And uh, the benefit for the SMEs is that they will be registered on the portal. They will raise their profile on the portal. They will be able to access opportunities mm -hmm. through tenders. Mm -hmm. They will gain capacity building from skills and from the linkages to finance that we want to offer to the SMEs through our partners. Interesting. Yeah. So how do they get on board of, for, on this system really? How much does it cost uh, perhaps an aspiring entrepreneur to join? Uh, we are going to be charging a very minimal fee mm -hmm. for SMEs. All right. Like I said, what, what does it take for an SME? We are trying to profile our local companies. We want to encourage them to do business with big companies. So we will offer some primary due diligence, validation of the SMEs to ensure that the primary criteria and the standards required mm -hmm. to do business with big companies yeah. are taken care of. Mm -hmm. So there will be a set of requirements, documents that they must submit mm -hmm. um, to be registered onto the portal and a very minimal fee All for right. the SMEs. Although you've not told us the fee, but uh, let's move on. Yes. Um, how many SMEs are you currently having in the portal? Uh, like I said, today we conducted the launch. Today was the launch. How many are you targeting? Sorry, let me rephrase. Yeah. Yes. We are targeting about 1,000 SMEs to have joined the platform by the end of this year. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And um, looking at the SMEs, mm -hmm. why the SME sector? Why the SME sector? That's a very good question. Everybody is focusing on SMEs. Almost everyone is focusing on SMEs. Mm -hmm. We know that 
in Kenya, the SME sector is actually the driver or the engine of the economy. Mm -hmm. SMEs today are creating um, about 50% of the jobs mm -hmm. that we have in the market. If you look at the GDP contribution from the SME economy, it's close to about 25%. Mm -hmm. And yet we know that about 70% of SMEs that are created will fail within the first three years of mm -hmm. inception. Which means that this is a sector that we must pay attention to. Mm -hmm. During our launch today, we were unveiling the uh, findings of a study that we commissioned, uh, Strathmore Business School, to help us to identify the real challenges of doing business, because that's what Invest in Africa is set out to do, to create more jobs. Mm -hmm. But for us to do that, we've got to understand what it is that hinders SMEs Mm -hmm. from doing business or trading with big companies. Mm -hmm. And uh, the study unveiled very interesting findings. Maybe you can just give us two key findings. Yes. One of the findings is still the perennial problem of access to finance mm -hmm. due to high cost of credit, uh, high cost of credit, credit, credit yeah. or even lack of understanding of requirements, you mm. know, the mm. levels of financial literacy. The okay. second one that uh, really, really emerged is uh, the lack of capacity to identify opportunities from the big companies, mm -hmm. which brings out the same picture that we're talking about, mm -hmm. that the gaps are really huge. Okay. And that's what Invest in Africa is trying to do, okay. to narrow the gap. Many thanks. Yes. We're speaking there to Engeshi Muriuki, who is the Chief Operating Officer of Invest in Africa. Thank you for making time. Thank you very much. We appreciate your time.